So everybody that's tuning in, I just dropped that new Obsession album and that new Sovereignty album. Obsession is a full length album, 12 songs, and Sovereignty is an EP album. Um, they're on all platforms. I recommend that y'all go listen to them, especially Obsession, the full length album is on all platforms. Google Play, Spotify, Amazon, Tidal, Deezer, everything. You know, I got some good features on there, some fire beats, some dark bars, some good bars. You know, um, go online and check out them albums, please. You know, and, um, support real hip hop, real New York City hip hop, real hip hop. Other than that, um, if y'all not following me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, my Facebook is Iron Sheik underscore Williams. You see the Iron Sheik, Skipper Space Williams. That's my Facebook. My um, Instagram is Warlord underscore Iron Sheik. AOA at the end, which is Army of Allah. So it's Warlord underscore Iron Sheik AOA. And um, if you're not following me on Twitter, it's Iron Sheik AOA. Right here, Iron Sheik AOA. And subscribe to my YouTube page, comment on topics. You know, help me get my followers up. Y'all help the mother niggas get their followers up. You know, help me get my followers up so I can keep giving y'all some solid content. Um, so, with this blog, I'm going to say fuck Lisa Evers, right? And I want to say fuck Dr. Anthony Fauci, F-A-U-C-I, right? And the reason why I want to say fuck both of them, right? Because, you know, my thing is this. I understand, you know, the wo for according to our understanding, you know, the virus, the coronavirus started in Wuhan, China, right? So if the coronavirus started in Wuhan, China in the so-called 5G city, you telling me it found its way all the way to America, to the South Bronx, to all the black urban communities, and now the black people is the majority of people with the coronavirus, but we supposed to be the minority in this country? So you telling me the littlest people in this country supposed to be the people with the most coronavirus? So this is why I say fuck Lisa Evers and Dr. Fauci because you know when you know a few weeks back I could have swore you know the spotlight was on the Chinese people you know they eating bat cat rat according you know to you know the footage that's out and then according to Donald Trump and everything you know what I'm saying you know he kept saying yo the Chinese virus the Chinese virus right the Chinese virus that's what he kept saying so now somehow. In America, this whole shit just flipped around and switched. Now Lisa Evers is on her, her Instagram and Dr. Fauzi is on TV talking about, oh, the African the African American community is suffering from this the most because they suffer from um obesity, high blood pressure, and diabetes, and this and this and this and that. We don't suffer from that. What we suffer from is y'all fucking poisoning the food, the American government poisoning the food, and then we eating that shit. All the stores that's mostly in our neighborhood is Popeyes, McDonald's, and bullshit like that. Me personally, I don't suffer from no diabetes, no high blood pressure. I don't I don't suffer from no physical ailments and shit like that because, you know, um, I'm healthy, I'm in shape, I diet correctly, and I, you know, I exercise and I'm conscious of what I eat. And, you know, I try my hardest not to support nothing that the machine do in regards to the food and fast foods. You see how the devil work? I'm gonna show you how the devil work real quick. That's a crackhead. That's a fucking drug addict running around dragging the bag. I literally walked around for like, a, like, for like 40 minutes before I found the spot with good lighting and I was in a serene, serenity state of, you know, state of mind, you know, a peaceful place. And then this crackhead nigga just come out of nowhere dragging the bag. That's all satanic dark energy, like the movie Fallen with Denzel Washington. You know, that dark energy jumped from host to host and it always go to the weak people. But anyway, yeah, so, you know, now Lisa Evans and Dr. Anthony Fauzi, oh, black people are the majority of people suffering from the corona. It ain't because black people is unhealthy or whatever. It's dealing with economic issues and financial issues, right? The black people is the poorest, right? You know, we don't practice group economics like the Latinos, the Arabs, or the Mexican, Mexican communities and stuff like that, right? So there's a lot of... um. 
there's a lot of black people that are still essential workers. You know, there's a lot of black people in them hospitals, whether they from Africa, West Indies, whatever, they black people, right? There's a lot of black people in them hospitals. There's a lot of black people working for sanitation. There's a lot of black people that's home health aid. MTA has a large amount of black people. You know what I'm saying? Especially NYPD and corrections, right? So that's why a lot of black people is probably suffering from it because we the ones that's out there in the battlefield still doing a lot of work and being essential workers and stuff like that, right? But I kind of thank Lisa Evers and Dr. Fauzi for bringing it up that the majority of the black, that the black community is the quote unquote majority of people that have it in America. Because that means y'all probably designed this anyway to target us from jump, but y'all released it in China knowing it was gonna come over here, right? That's, that could be one possibility. Another possibility is this. All right, y'all didn't do that. Y'all just trying to do global with the population, period, and depopulate the earth, right? But then when they got here, all the Jews that's all over social media coughing, <laughs> all the Jews that's all over social media coughing, all these black people that's in the hospital, um, the century workers that's helping all these sick people come in, who to say how the black people got it? You know what I'm saying? People saying, oh, black people now um, going inside, they staying outside, they still gathering, they not practicing social distancing and whatever, whatever, whatever. The Jews ain't practicing social distancing either. I posted like four different footages on my Instagram page where it's like over a thousand Jews outside. Four different incidents. Two was funerals. One, they was getting water hosed down. Another one, they was, um... The little kid was coughing, yelling, Nazi, Nazi, you know what I'm saying? And for some Jews to say that, for Jewish kids to say that and all that, that mean their parents must be telling them America is the new Nazis or the new Germany. That's what these Jewish parents must be telling their kids. Because if their kids is yelling that out, some, somebody implanted that in their head, right? That's another thing, right? But, um, you know, I want to say, like, every time something happened in America, it always turns out to be the black people being the bad guys or the four guys, right? You know, you had the black people back in the days that wanted to be a part of the Tuskegee Airmen. They wound up infecting them niggas, giving them niggas syphilis, Right? Then they, we already know in the in the seven in the sixties and seventies they put the heroin in our communities. Then we know in the eighties they put the crack in our communities and the aid and the AIDS and the HIV in the in the black communities. So from slavery till now, it'll never stop. There's always a problem with them. They always creating some type of disease for us. There's always some type of um chemical abuse, substance abuse um, epidemic, some virus epidemic, there's always a sickness, there's always something, and these people gonna bother us for the remainder of time while they on earth, unless we all fight and kill these niggas. We all gotta fight, like every black nigga on earth, a crackhead, a homeless nigga, we all gotta fight and kill the machine. And I ain't seeing regular white people that's like out here jogging and shit like that fuck them i'm talking about you know i'm not talking about that i'm talking about the government establishment the people who's putting out all these diseases and shit like that to harm us who's putting out all these sicknesses and all that because it seems like every time something happened it always wound up flipping back on us like we the bottom of the totem pole we the four guys we the punching bag yeah that should be having me mad and then like all these countries around the world got corona and only 3% of Africa has corona. So if only 3% of Africa has corona, why do they want to go to Africa to see if the vaccines work and to vaccinate the Africans if the Africans don't have the corona? There's always some bullshit with these niggas. And then I'm going to tell you another bad problem. There's a lot of black people that CIA, FBI. There's a lot of black people in the Army, the Navy, and all that. So I see if these black, you know, these black people is like brainwashed puppets on some. If you can't beat them, join them. Like, it, it don't matter to us. We with the strength, so we don't care what they do. They ain't doing it to us or our family or whatever, whatever. You know, because our family protected because we a part of the machine. No, it don't work like that. Y'all niggas is expendable pawns. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 you know, I see if the black people 
was in the army and then they was bringing that information back to us on some spook who sat by the door shit. Like, you know, they was going in there learning all the information and then like, yo, we gonna bring all the information back and spread it to the people in our community. We gonna teach niggas how to set up bombs, traps, how to shoot rifles, unload guns, break them down, put them back together. Then, you know, that wouldn't be a problem because y'all utilizing what y'all learn in the army or the Navy or the Marines or the Air Force and y'all bringing it back to the people and y'all educating the people. But these people don't do that. When they learn all this bullshit, they keep all the information to themselves. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's supposed to be a each one teach one thing. Still sharp and still iron, sharp and iron. You know, but Lisa, Lisa Evans really offended me, you know, tonight when she's like, oh, the majority of people that have it is the African American community. They're the largest community that have it. Yeah, we got everything. You know, you let you let America tell it. You let the machine tell it. Media tell it. Uh, African Americans got everything. You know, we got AIDS. We smoke crack. We got the highest obesity rate, highest blood pressure, higher diabetes, highest venereal diseases. We got the highest jail rate. We got the lowest literacy rate. Like everything with us is just fucked up. They are never. They never want to tell you. That niggas built all this shit, all these inventions, traffic like gas masks. The, uh, the cell phone I got in my hand, a black man built the cell phone. A black man built the World Wide Web. So when you go www.com or whatever, a black man built that. The chips they use for the microphones, I mean, for the, the chips they use for the cell phones, they get it from one place, and that's in Africa. Them niggas always need us, and I swear, this why I wish Gaddafi would have won. You know what I'm saying? I wish Gaddafi would have won because the ball game would have changed. But all the, you know, there's a lot of sucker presidents in Africa too. There's a lot of stingy, weak, tribal, dumbass Africans in Africa. So them niggas all betrayed Gaddafi and they clipped him. Fam, Libya was paradise on earth. Gaddafi had it set up financially, the laws, the rules, the marriages, everything. And, and America painted Gaddafi to be a bad guy. And I wish he would've won and changed that one world. I wish he would've won and changed that, um, that currency, bro. Libya has $70 trillion worth of gold. And he should've never announced that he should've just made the move. So that way the whole, that European bullshit dollar, that American bullshit dollar, all that shit would've collapsed because, it, it, you know, black people ain't gonna never get no break fucking with America. This shit is a maximum prison. America's a warehouse, it's a maximum prison. This is a corporation, you know, and that's when y'all get into the sovereignty rights, the um, universal commercial codes, the UCCs. That's when y'all can get into the straw man rights and, you know, shit like that. You know, all that shit break it down. You know, you know that's all old news. But, yeah, bro, they got their feet on our neck and they not going to never take it off. And that's because black people keep believing in white Christ. Niggas keep looking into the air, praying to fucking white Jesus or, or, or mystery shit and all that. Like, we got to make a move. You know, black people got to rise up. And I'm going to tell you this, man. You know, death ain't that bad when you die for something you believe in, right? That's one thing. And let's say all the dark skinned people of color, Brazil, Panama, Honduras, where everywhere where it's dark people like me and darker and black, black. Say all of us pop off at one time all over the world and we all die, right? A world without black people would be a whole different world because we creative, we cultural, you know, we dance, music, singing, you know, we, we, we entertaining. We creative, we artistic, like, you know, like, we, we real art, artsy, we real artful. A world without black people, but then what they gonna do? They gonna be bored. They'll start going back to attacking each other. How the United Kingdom had the Irish enslaved, you know, the United Kingdom was um, oppressing people in Scotland, and you know how Turkey went to war with Vlad the Impaler and his people up in um, Transylvania and all that, and you know how the Albanians and, you know, Kosovo and the Chechnyans and all them was, you know, all killing each other. It'll go back to that because, you know, when there ain't nobody around, you know, when there ain't a common enemy around, you know, shit implode and people start going at each other. You know, and this ain't no, this ain't no hate blog, man. You know, I don't got nothing against, you know, white people that, you know, that's going through the same shit I'm going through, you know, because in Italy, they locked up a lot of mafia dudes. 
you know, in Italy, they're supposed to have locked up a lot of mafia dudes and crime families. So, you know, for years, even though it's a lot of Italians don't like blacks, you got Italians that like blacks. But, you know, 20% of every race fuck with blacks, and then the 80% of every other race don't fuck with us. But, you know, so even though a great majority of Italians don't like blacks, they still go through a lot of shit black people go through. So we know in Italy they locked a lot of Italians up, and, um, you know, um, uh, you know, the government was raiding they shit too, you know. We know in the early 90s here, Giuliani cleaned out the mafia. We know all that. But that's only because the Italians were setting up their own system and they didn't want to pay taxes and they was eating on their own. The machine always want a piece of the pie. And if you ain't giving them a piece of the pie, then they not going to let it happen. You know, that's just the higher up, the hierarchy, you know, of imperialism and capitalism. And actually it's social communism, if you want to, if you let me tell it. You know, I hope in the future this world can be a better place, but it's going to get a lot darker before it get a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Now the chaos comes order. And a lot of people is going to die. A lot of people is going to die. White, black, blue, or whatever, because, you know, it, 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 you know, color is involved, but it's bigger than that. You know, it's about separation, period. Fat, tall, small, uh, um, skinny, big, you know, black, white, yellow, blue. You know, it's, 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 you know, they, you know the Willie Lynch. Y'all know the Willie Lynch theory. Turn everything opposite against each other. Skinny against fat, tall against small. You know, muscles against non-muscles. You know, we already know that. Rich against poor, good against evil. So, you know, that's why I always tell y'all, you know, black is a state of mind and white is a state of mind. You got black people, you got white people that think like black people. They militant and, you know, they don't fuck with the government. And, you know, they call these type of people militias and doomsday preppers. And then you have black people that have a white mentality. They think like white people. And those are the people we call graham crackers, Uncle Toms, and house niggas. You know, because black and white is a state of mind. And people are like, so what type of state of mind? We know when you study history, and I'm not saying black people is 100% innocent, they contributed to destruction of civilizations also. But we never destroyed air. We never destroyed water. You know, we never cross-breeded humans with monsters, with, with animals. And we never, you know, we, niggas ain't tampering with divine nature like that niggas ain't fucking with the elements of the earth and keep digging and drilling the ground like how bed bugs suck blood out of a human's body or a parasite suck blood out of a human's body you know these niggas drilling for gold or you diamonds they keep digging in the earth digging in the earth digging in the earth they keep flying up everywhere and so much smoke you know fumes and toxins and biohazard chemicals destroying the ozone layer birds dying 5g killing birds and there's birds dying everywhere, fish popping out the water, dying because they being microwaved in the water. So we know it's a whole bunch of chaos, man. And I'm going to tell you, this go for anybody who is a Jedi, meaning who has that positive state of mind, you know, that, you know that's against the dark, the evil. Niggas got to put in that work. Everybody got to put that pain in because the longer people wait, niggas going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And we all going to be killed. You know, united we stand, divided we fall. If we separated, we going to be even weaker. So, you know, this blog, you know, was just basically inspired because Lisa Evans, Lisa Evers trying to fucking slander. And um, Dr. Anthony Fonsi trying to slander, you know, and, you know, they saying, you know, bad things about us so that's what inspired me to do this blog so you know it don't have nothing to do with the regular white people that's trying to live and survive too because you know they knocking they on you know they knocking the lower level white people off too you know they knocking the lower level asians and arabs everybody's expendable on this chessboard so don't ever think i'm i'm promoting like it's just all about one group but we know blacks is definitely targeted 